Liberty Bell, I'm Sharon Smith along with Kenny Rice and Kurt Green. The preferred pace called the Stars and Stripes pace is just ahead. A field of eight horses. The seven horse Truman was scratched and uh, some interesting horses in this race. Uh, here's a look at the list of entries and who do you like here, Kurt? Well, uh, one of the favorites at this point uh, at two to one is uh, Perky Fiddler. He's a six-year-old by Gypsy Fiddle, uh, a horse that's raced exceptionally well in this circuit all year between Brandywine and Pocono and now Liberty Bell of late. Uh, probably uh, the choice for uh, horse of the year in this particular circuit. He has the services tonight of uh, Rick Farrington, who's the 20-year-old son of uh, Dick Farrington, one of the one of the best drivers uh, in our country and from the famous Farrington family. Uh, the other horse in the race, uh, obviously, that the fans like. At uh, seven to two is Tarina Lobel, who's the speed horse in the race with uh, Mark Lancaster. He just beat a neck here by uh, Great Nero, who's the ho rail horse, uh, who's at five to one, who uh, beat this field the last last week in 157. And this is a horse. This Great Nero is a horse who's won almost four hundred thousand dollars in his racing career. So he's uh, done some good racing over the years. He's only a four-year-old, in fact. So he's uh, done it in just a couple years' time. The two and the three. Perky Fiddler, time to cash. Uh, Perky Fiddler getting a lot of support as well. Here is the field as they are lining up. Again, this is a 5 8 mile track. We've seen a couple of those on our Breeders' Crown circuit, so they don't start. The start does not come actually in front of the stand, so we have to watch them go around the first turn, and then the start will come. As the horses line up, we've got a couple of trailers. We'll get him on the gate, and we'll be just about ready to start race number five, the Stars and Stripes pace. Let's go now to track announcer Joe Eichhorn. All right, Sharon, thank you very much. The field behind starter Danny Dale moving toward the start, and as you said, they will start in the back stretch. Seven horse field with the number seven horse Truman being scratched. They're now moving toward the start. They're nearing the start. Girl, that's quick. Hero wheeling out for the lead. JC leader on the outside away, second. Perky Fiddler down along the inside is third. Tom McCash away four. As they move into the turn, Jay-Z leader edging up the outside. Right narrow, a close-up second. That's Perky Fiddler racing away third. Tom McCash is out four. Rena Lobel is fifth. And Keystone Progress with expectation. Seventh hand trailing Jay-Z leader up on the outside. They wheel around the quarter in 28 and four. By the stands a first time, Jay-Z leader. Out front by two, Great Nero second. Perky Fiddler is tucked in third. It's time to cash racing four. Rena Lobel on the outside, fifth, Keystone Progress. That's expected. Seven and trailing into the turn. JC leader in open lane. Great Nero following second. Perky Fiddler moves to the outside, racing third. Time to cash tucked on the inside to Rena Lobel cover a close four. They're into that half mile in 59 and three. Into the back stretch, Jay-Z leader, Perky Fiddler parked out second. Great Nero on the inside is third, Torina Lobel alongside a close four. Time to cash on the inside, Keystone Progress sixth. Expection remains seven and trailing down the back stretch. Jay-Z leader on the inside, Perky Fiddler they're just a nose apart. Torina Lobel outside is third, Great Nero on the inside four. They swing around the three-quarter, 28 and three. On a far turn, Perky Fiddler up on the outside. Jay-Z leader inside second. Here comes Torina Lobel outside. Great Nero on the inside is fourth. Here they come off the turn. Perky Fiddler first to straighten away turn for home. Torina Lobel outside is on the move. Inside Jay-Z leader. Down along the rail, Perky Fiddler. Here comes Torina Lobel on the outside. He stole progress with a big move with Perky Fiddler hanging on. Look like Perky Fiddler in front, Sharon, with Torina Lobel second, followed by Keystone Progress, now back to Sharon Smith. And thank you, Joe. And the horse did hold on. Appeared to be won by a short necker ahead. Yes, Perky Fiddler uh, was first over in the race. Uh, I think Rick Farrington wanted to make an earlier move. I could see in the first turn that he uh, probably wanted to follow up with uh, Jay-Z Leader and, and make a pop move and get to the front. But then he, uh, um, you know, came first over and uh, uh, really just toughed it out from there home. And let's take a look again as, uh, as this horse held off the rush of the, the other two horses across the line. It was pretty competitive here right at the end. Yeah, he uh, shows his real class. Uh, again, I said I think this horse will be a horse of the year in this circuit. Uh, and when these two fresh horses hook him here in the stretch, uh, he shows some real quality and, and guts to hang on to this uh, in the late steps.
Time 158 for the mile. This is about a second slower than these good horses have been going, about four fifths to a second. So we'll have to consider how that might affect uh, the possibility of a record in our Breeders' Crown race coming up. So you have seen now the fifth race. Uh, it is unofficial, but the winner apparently Perky Fiddler. And of course, the sixth race is still ahead. That's the Breeders' Crown race, the three year old Philly Pace. We are going to take a timeout. We'll be back with much more from Liberty Bell in just a few minutes.